Good afternoon folks, another round of uh, tea and questions instead of coffee and questions because it is in the afternoon. One of the uh, emails that I got, I thought I'll do a quick tip video was, hey a while back you showed us how to make some metal bending jigs. And that's interesting but I didn't quite get the idea of how you're securing these and how you're using them and how you went about you know, making them and I thought okay, I'll do it one more time, I'll go a little bit slower. This is one of my more handy metal bending jigs that I use. Now I have several of them. I'll do more videos in the future but they are for very specific uses whereas the one I'm going to show you is for like a general all-purpose use or at least for me it is. I first got a piece of plate steel right here. This is the diamond plate and I went out to the steel supplier checked in their cutoff section. I found this. It was already pre-cut. I thought well this isn't perfect cut here, but this isn't like I keep telling you, it's not a beauty contest. They're tools that are functional. Rather than buy them online, I can make them myself. So, the first thing that I do on almost, almost all these jigs is I flip them over. I get a nice thick piece of flat. This is diamond plate. Let me see. I think it's about one eighth inch thick, I'd guess. And then I stopped at the big box store because they didn't have any steel supplier and I bought some of this steel pipe. A couple of different lengths and a couple of different diameters. If you want to know exactly, the little ones are, the little ones have a three quarter inch outside diameter. The large one has about a one and a quarter inch outside diameter. So I got the 1 8 plate steel, and this is just how I did it. You don't have to do it exactly this way. The key behind the ones that I do is I always put a piece of rectangular steel welded across the bottom. Um, and here's why. This can go in a vise, just like this. And I can tighten this up real tight. And then I can heat the steel up, I can bend it however I want, and when I'm done, I can remove this. I put it back in under my welding cart where my other jigs are. My shop, everything's mobile. I don't have a huge warehouse or a huge shop or anything. Just a DIYer, you know, weekend warrior kind of stuff. But this makes it very convenient. The top of this I can use. You can put sheet metal on here, use a ball peen hammer, and you can start to bend smaller pieces of sheet metal. Very easy, very doable. How about that? Got interrupted. Um, so, you can use this, you can make these farther apart, closer together, you can do a variety of things depending on what steel and the thickness of it and how wide it is and everything else. But this little one here, I mean it works for the majority of what I do if you want to know the heights. This is four and a half inches. The smaller ones run about two and a half inches. It's what I had laying around. I mean all I did was guess when I did these measurements. But this has worked fine, like I said, for me on the majority of all the projects that I do and the things that I need to bend. It works good for mild steel. Um, I wouldn't do anything real hardened in here unless you're going to heat it up first. And there are some thicker, you know, pieces of steel that I have bent in here and I've actually began to bend these. But that's okay. I mean, I can bend them back. And of course, like I said, by heating it, you can bend it. Quick tip video, this is not hard to make, it's easy to do, you don't have to use diamond plate. I would tell you though to get something thick for the base. The key here in all of these that I make, for me, is this piece. Which holds it real tight and secure in my vise. I can bend it, heat it up, like I said, do what I want to do. I'm the Home Handyman, I hope you click subscribe. Let me know if you like these quick tip videos and if the things that I'm showing you are helping you. Drop a comment below if maybe you've made these and you're able to make them better or you have some other tip or trick that people can benefit from. Just let me know and hit the notification bell and I'll see that you always get the newest and the greatest little tricks. Next ones will probably be more different bending jigs but they're more specialized. You folks have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.